Hi. Hello. Just wanted to helpfully remind people that when it comes to sharing information or knowledge, you know, everything that we learn through the process of disclosure and the unveilings and this great, our personal great awakening to the collective great awakening and trying to wake other people up and bring us to a whole complete cohesive, you know, level, I guess where we can all really come together and change the whole planet, which we are. I mean, that's exactly what's happening in this process, this whole process. But just want to remind you to be actionable, to not be stagnant in the st everything that you know and that you want to share. You know, in whether it be through social media or whether it be through actually talking to someone per in a direct or physical way, or in any creative, artful way that you possibly can through any art creations, things that you like to do, like where you can share that information or show that information, whether it be through the videos like this or through writings or through something, some art, visual creation on something where other people can see it, whether that be digitally or physically or through creative ways in which you write words or anything, just to make sure to be more actionable with stuff because it, it it, we have to be very directly you know, actually, we have to be make drastic changes in the collective in this third density world to try to reach people more and wake them up and to help them ascend to the higher frequencies of consciousness in themselves. Just as I am, just as anyone else is, just as you know, we're putting forth the effort to do so, and the, all the information that we've been learning from shared experiences of others and uh, uh, otherwise just straight information, you know, in search of truth, trying to figure things out and trying to show others that. This is that, there is this, you know, just be patient with it and be good, you know, be focused and just be more actual rather than just sitting and thinking or feeling things and meditating with it, which will definitely is part of the process for you to bring things together and how you, in your own d true discernment process of trying to learn and understand things that you, you come across, you know, in disclosure. But, you know, you have to meditate on it, you have to sit with it, you have to think, you have to put things together holistically with your feeling, your understandings, your intuition and fact-based checkings everywhere with everything and, you know, you got to put things together, but make sure not to just think about things and let it sit in you stagnantly and just not moving, <laughs> stagnant. You want to keep it, you want to flow, let it flow out, you know. You want to share that with others if that's your goal, but it's it's kind of important for the whole reason of learning these things. You're a part of the whole collective, and just you learning and understanding these things is the biggest help ever. You know, you, you, that's a big part of this all. You're, you are part of the collective, and your individual, our individual journeys each is part of the whole collective, and that matters on the greatest scale possibly imaginable. But make sure to share things, and those that are come to find your information that you're sharing and the experiences that you're sharing maybe it'll be of value to them in their journey and their path and their adventures and growth and development through the, their own awakening the great collective awakening and the great you know just the full disclosure process that is unfolding and has been for many years just as like like I'm doing now I'm trying to make more videos and do, do more writing which I've, I have been doing the writing for years now and the videos I've been wanting to also do for at least three years or so, same as the writing. I just haven't had the perfect courage to be able to do so, you know, to, to you know, ascend my voice to speak and bring things coherently together and just myself in video form. I, I tend to work better with people more flowingly and in person, flowing on the other people's thoughts and feelings and trying to get information out. But sometimes it's very important to make videos like this where I can just talk freely about anything not worry about the other person's thoughts or feelings and how to say something specifically because of their consciousness level, you know? That, that's what happens a lot too. I try to share things but I understand that person's consciousness level might not be exactly ready to hear what I'm saying and that's why I try to say it in a specific way to where they can understand it and not just write it off, you know, and not just be like, oh, and just disengage their focus of paying attention to what you're saying and trying to share with them. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta say it anyway, you just gotta do it, it doesn't matter. You just have to say things and let them take it, you know, because you're just trying to help people, trying to help humanity, and that's the only reason I do anything that I've ever done, that's the only thing I ever want to do anything, you're just trying to come up with more direct, with more creative ways to share these things, more direct ways, like these videos where it might be easier for people to access and just to engage with. 
bring out, you know, just help to bring a lot of this information out to the whole world. And I'll be doing more of that rather than just sharing thoughts like these or experiences. But that's also important, you know, through my awakening process and through my journey and disclosure. Things that I learn and that I see intuitively or inside or feel and understand in certain ways. You know, I mean, we all have those inside intuitive abilities and spiritual abilities. I've always, I've always had very deep rooted spiritual and intuitive abilities to be able to see and feel certain things on other levels in certain ways. Like right now in the whole collective consciousness and sphere of humanity, I've, I've been really feeling there are big things that are happening and going to be happening, which is, I guess in result to the D-class and disclosure that we've been hearing about, most likely. I really feel like right now there's a great potential for that, and that's the key thing too, is potential for that, where we tune ourselves collectively and each individually to make leaps into these specific timelines or realities where these things are happening. It, I mean, it may not be that technical, but in some ways it actually is, in that right now there's kind of like a doorway or a gateway open where we can transition to another shifting point where these things become more overt and public. Um, uh, you know, as a, along our full disclosure process, as a lot of us start learn more about this and share, and everything that's happening with the D class and of the pedophilia and human trafficking and all that stuff. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of stuff happening right now, but I feel like there's a big doorway or open or something, a potential shift that we can make, and something that I have to focus in personally with myself to make sure uh, I can help in us all making it in that transitioning process, of course. And, but just sharing that a little bit. Last few days I've, I've felt something, something going on. <laughs> but it seems, yeah, last night I noticed there's a bit of a release of information as far as the those 2,000 pages or so from Jeffrey Epstein's case. It's interesting. I haven't yet looked at them. I haven't yet looked at any of that. I'm, I need to, but... I'm trying to focus on other things as well right now. But so, and of course, there's many more, many other people out there besides myself who are looking into this while I'm not at the moment, so it's okay. But I can help, and I will. Just as you can. Everything you know, everything you've learned during your, during, during your process of disclosure and personal awakening, if you think it have, it's crucial to share with others and that your experiences and feelings and understandings can have impact, positive inspirational impact on others, share it, if you feel called to share it. Work up the courage, you know, be strong, <laughs> be strong, share that, alright? Just, uh, I'm gonna share those few thoughts for the moment. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this, thank you very much, I truly, truly, heartfully love you in every way.